Hello Virgo, Someone Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy between you and the person you're connecting with or will be connecting with. We do have reconciliation, someone from your past is returning to your life, and then we also have released your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Virgo, this could very well represent you resurfacing back into someone's life. Obviously, it could all resonate vice versa, but we'll see. It all depends on the spread. We're going to focus on you first, and then we're going to jump over to them. Still keep in mind, you might resonate more so with the person to the right of me than you do with the person to the left of me. And that's okay. Just kind of pick and choose who you resonate more so with. We're going to focus on you first, Virgo. How does Virgo currently view this relationship? Ooh, very nice. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We also have the Seven of Pentacles. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles. The bottom of the deck, we do have the Devil. And then we also have the Five of Cups. Very nice. With the Strength card to the Ten of Swords. And then we also have the Nine of Swords. Virgo, I'm just... This is kind of looking and kind of feeling like a heads-up reading for you, to be completely honest, okay? Okay. I'm going to describe this overall energy and that will kind of give you like a rough idea of who this person actually is that's resurfacing back into your life. Um, like I said, this is kind of like a fair warning for you, Virgo, that whoever this person is that's resurfacing back into your life, um, I don't. I don't feel like you're going to see this coming, especially because of your overall energy currently at the moment. Um, this shit is going to catch you by surprise is basically what it is that I'm trying to kind of warn you of. Now, whoever this person is, Virgo, and I don't feel like it's you resurfacing back into someone's life. I feel like it's someone resurfacing back into your life, like an ex of yours. But whoever this person is, Virgo, this is somebody that you had a very difficult time letting go of. Um, even though you know that this relationship, you know, was affecting you in the worst way possible, you had a very difficult time actually letting that person and letting that connection go. But it kind of looks like, you know, eventually you did. I also kind of feel like you could have been connecting with somebody who was playing a lot of head games with you. You could have been dealing with a narcissist or somebody who was very, and I'm going to attempt to say this word, manipulative. I'm not going to say it again. That's, that's, they, they could have been that way. Okay. But it required a lot of strength within you to officially let this relationship and let this person go because it wasn't essentially serving your highest good by any means. Um, so then there's that Virgo. Currently at the moment though, you do have the Eight of Pentacles with the Seven of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. It's hard uh, to determine whether or not you currently find yourself involved uh, with somebody else currently at the moment. But I feel like right now your main focus slash priority has a lot to do with like your overall growth and expansion and work. For some of you, you could very well be uh, deciding to essentially get into the stock market because I am kind of getting that uh, for a lot of you. You could be doing your research as far as like getting into the stock market is concerned. But it just kind of looks like right now your main focus has a lot to do with, you know, your material world, career, things of that nature. That's kind of where your focus is at right now. Hence why I do feel like when this person does extend themselves to you, um... It's going to definitely catch you off guard because you're not anticipating and or expecting it. How does this person currently view this relationship? We got the devil. Which, I'm not shocked, right? And then we also have the five of cups. And then we have the eight of wands. This is interesting. This person wants to talk obviously right with the eight of wands they want to talk about what happened here between you and them in the past with the five of cups being out here the five of cups it does speak of regret i feel like this person has your blah, 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 blah. come on man not today let me bear with me okay i haven't really had that much coffee this morning but this person has been doing like a whole lot of reflecting when it comes down to like how they treated you and how they were with you. They're just sitting in a boatload of regret right now and they wanna to talk to you about whatever happened here between you and them in the past. Now, with the uh, emperor being out here, and then we have the page as well. I'm not gonna take this away from this person. I do feel like this person has 
matured over time. I'm not going to take that away from them. This could also represent, this combo alone can also represent that you probably haven't seen this person and or spoken to this person in years. Okay, so also kind of keep that in mind too. How does this person currently feel? Oh, wow. Okay. Um, I'm not surprised that the tower came out. The devil is linked to the tower. And then we also have the seven of swords. And then we have justice that wanted to come out with the chariot. This is kind of like an overall energy of somebody basically coming back around your way, trying to essentially right their wrongs here. They want to make things right with you. That's one thing that I will say. They do want to make things right with you. They do. And they want to essentially kind of move past whatever happened here between you and them. You know what's interesting is that I'm not entirely sure. How can I say this? I'm not entirely sure what this person's like intentions are. Like, I mean, I see that this person wants to like have a conversation with you like as far as like everything that they put you through and the role that they kind of played in all of this again they they are trying to make things right with you but i don't know if it's coming from a place of them wanting to get back together with you virgo or if they just kind of want to clear their conscience and just let you know that they they are terribly sorry for everything that they essentially put you through I mean, with the Seven of Swords being out here, this can definitely like indicate somebody who has a guilty conscience when it comes down to you, all right? So then there's that. So then there's that. But again, it's like they, they wanna not only make things right here between you and them, they, they wanna move past it too. But again, it's like, I don't know if they're coming back around your way because they wanna get back together with you. But if it's one thing that if it's one thing that this person is striving for is to essentially come in and really right their wrongs here when it comes down to you. There's a lot of regret and there's a lot of remorse coming from this person. That's one thing that I will say. And again, with the Knight of Swords being out here, uh, that's kind of like an overall energy of expect the unexpected. You're, you're really not going to see this conversation coming. Okay, Virgo, you're really not. Um, and with the Strength card... And the Ten of Cups and the Temperance card being out here. I mean, for some of you, this person could very well just be contacting you um, because they want to, you know, obviously right their wrongs, but also get back together with you. You guys are showing up as a true pair. The person that sits in the chariot is the Emperor. Um, and while you're showing up as an Empress, regardless of your gender. So it could just, it just could just be that, right? Where this person is kind of realizing that they fucked up pretty badly here um and and they want to apologize for it and they want to make things right here between you and them and it could have a lot to do with them just simply wanting to also get back together with you so keep that in mind too virgo i want to jump back to you and then we'll, we'll we'll come back to this human how does virgo currently feel Do, 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 do. Wow. We got the uh, Knight of Wands. Don't fall. Great. I'm just dropping stuff. With the Eight of Cups. And then we have Justice. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Seven of Wands. And then we also have the Empress with the Magician. And then we also have the Hierophant. And then we have Temperance out here. Hmm. Temperance does trump the devil. So that's kind of telling me that you you forgave this person when all this shit happened. I kind of feel like you already forgave this person for whatever the hell it is that they essentially put you through. That's going to hit home for some of you. Um, the, the, yeah, that's going to hit home for some of you because I kind of feel like you've already forgiven them. You've already forgiven them. Like, granted, did this person put you through a lot of shit, Virgo? Absolutely. I saw that. But I feel like you you forgave this person, like, many, many years ago. So the fact that they're still sitting with this regret um, is, is kind of making me feel like they don't necessarily feel like you've you've officially for, forgiven them for everything that they put you through. 
I kind of feel like this person needs to forgive themselves. I kind of feel like that's what it is too, Virgo, because this overall energy that you're sitting in, like, don't get me wrong, Virgo, like, granted, you went through a lot of shit with this person, you put up with a lot of shit with this person, but I feel like, how do I say this? I feel like you, you, you... You learned a lot. Let's go ahead and say that. You learned a lot from that experience. You definitely learned a lot from that experience. And it's it's basically made you the person that you are today. Somebody who's who's evolved. Somebody who's very big on forgiveness now. Maybe prior to this person, you weren't that big on forgiveness, right? But I feel like you already forgiven this person for whatever it is that they put you through. I feel like this person wants your forgiveness. They want your forgiveness, and, but I feel like you've already given them that already. I just feel like this person hasn't forgiven themselves, you know, for fucking things up here between you and them. I feel like that's really what the fuck it is. That That's really what it is. They may not even be consciously aware of it, to be honest. They may not even be consciously aware of it. They just haven't forgiven themselves for what they put you through. But... Going back to what I was going to say, right? If this person is coming back around your way to get back together with you, with the Seven of Wands to Justice being out here, to the Eight of Cups, to the uh, Knight of Wands, this is somebody who's pretty dead set on keeping things as is between you and them, which is over. So if, if that's why this person's coming back around your way, I don't feel like they're going to get that from you. I'm going to be honest. I don't feel like they're going to get that from you, Virgo. I don't feel like they're going to get that from you. I feel like you're really done with this person. That's for sure. You're very, very much so done with this person. Like I said, you've forgiven them for everything that, you know, they put you through. There is no anger and or resentment that, you know, you're still holding right towards this person. I kind of feel like a, at some point you were, but I feel like you moved past it. But yeah. So then there's that. So then there's that. Um, let's go back to this person. Uh, the two of you might even have children together um, or a child because I am kind of getting that for some of you. You guys could have even been married too. What actions will this person take towards Virgo or moving forward? We have the world. We also have the eight of swords and then we have the knight of wands i want to look at the um that's not a double confirmation virgo that if this person's coming back around your way to get back together with you that's not something that they're going to end up getting in the end okay um but i do want to clarify this eight of swords though time more about the eight of swords oh, i feel bad for this person i really do um, back to you, Virgo. I mean, not back to you, Virgo. We got the Two of Cups here. To, uh, that's basically clarifying the Eight of Swords. <clears throat> I feel like this person wishes that they can start over. Like, if, 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 if like they had the opportunity to go back into time and do things differently with you they, they 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 would have done it that's the energy that they're coming in with but we can't right we can't do that we can't do that we can't do that and they know that they know that but just like the devil is linked to the tower the devil is also kind of linked to the uh, Eight of Swords. You've already freed yourself from this situation, Virgo. You've already forgiven this person for what they put you through. And I also kind of feel like a lot of you have forgiven yourself for even tolerating as much as you did, right, from this person. Which is a really good sign to see Virgo coming from you. It, it speaks of growth and it also speaks of maturity, right? But they need to kind of do the same thing. You know what I mean? They need to kind of do the same thing. Again, I feel like you've already forgiven this person. I feel like they need to kind of forgive themselves at this point. Um, anyways, what actions will Virgo take towards this person or moving forward? 
We have the King of Pentacles. We also have the Ace of Wands. And then we also have the Page of Wands. Then we have the Chariot with the Emperor. Then we have the Devil. Here we go. With the Strength card, Nine of Swords, Five of Cups. And then we have the Ten of Swords. Shit. With the Sun. And then we also have the Tower. Then we have the Queen of Swords, and then we have the World. This is probably by far, well, and I don't want to exaggerate on that, what I was about to say. I've never seen somebody suffer so much in a, in a reading before. That's what I wanted to basically say here. This is bad. This is very bad. I mean, the energy that this person is coming in with, holy shit, man, like... Not only did they fuck things up here between you and them. I don't even know what else to say. Like, I just, this is, this. I don't think I've ever seen somebody suffer this much before in a reading. Never. I mean, this person has some heavy fucking hitters too. Like, they, they got the tower twice. They got the devil twice. Like, this person's coming out with some heavy-ass fucking hitters, and, and it's not good ones either. It's not good ones. It's just not. Virgo, it's pretty obvious slash evident that you're done with this person. It's That's fucking obvious at this point. Queen of Swords, Justice, Eight of Cups, Knight of Wands, you're out. You're out. You're done. You're absolutely done with this person, but you're going to witness how much this person's actually fucking suffering. And, and you know the crazy part to all of this is that you're you're going to witness how much this person's actually suffering because of whatever the fuck they did, right? Because I feel like this person clearly did something. They clearly did something that pushed you to that point of no return to the point where you're just like, I'm fucking done. Get out of my face right now. You know what I mean? But to the... The Queen of Swords to the world, I'm, I'm kind of shocked that you're even harnessing this energy. I don't even know how you can do it, to be completely honest. Because I feel like your person, at this point in time, what else did they get? At this point in time, this person is just fighting for dear life for this relationship. Like I said, like this person wishes that they can kind of go back into time and do things differently. But we all know that we can't do that, right? So they're just going to, at this point in time, have to live with whatever it is that they did that pushed you away, that pushed you to the point of no return. But you're not gonna hear the last of this person. You're, you're not, you're not Virgo. Cause the King of Pentacles to the Page of Wands, to the Ace of Wands, that's still their overall energy. At this point, they're just overpowering your reading to be completely honest. I've never seen somebody suffer like this before. Not in a reading. This is, this is fucking sad. Like this is just outright depressing this is fucking depressing and like i said virgo i feel like you're gonna witness this like i feel like you're gonna see it for yourself how much this person's actually suffering due to this mistake that they made or whatever it is that they kind of did that pushed you to the point of no return you know what and also too it's like how do i say this how do i say this like, granted, are they, like, acknowledging the fact that they fucked up? Yeah, I see that. I see that. And you see that, too. And, again, it's like, you're looking at this whole entire situation like, you know what? It is what it is. I forgive you. No hard feelings. But I'm out. But I'm done. Like, it has that feel to it, right? I think that that person is kind of miss. I kind of feel like by, by you coming in saying, yeah, I forgive you. No hard feelings, whatever the hell, right? But you're done. I kind of feel like that might cause this person to think in their mind that they still kind of have a fighting chance with you, but they don't. They don't. Like, you're pretty dead set on no. That's it. You need to go. Like, I'm done with you. Like, it kind of has that feel. And like I said, it's like I feel like you're going to see that this person's like truly fucking suffering, man. Truly fucking suffering. But... I'm going to be honest, I'm shocked that you're even harnessing this energy. Like, that's what's really shocking me the most. I mean, the fact that this person has, like, 
really bad heavy hitters and then on top of that your response and your reaction it's it's very cold virgo it's very very cold it's very cold it's very yeah no get out leave me alone don't talk to me ever again i'm done with you you know it has that feel to it which i'm i'm, I'm kind of shocked virgo i'm kind of shocked i'm kind of shocked this whole fucking reading is fucking shocking to be honest but the fact that you also have the Eight of Cups to the Queen of Swords, I feel like whenever, whatever this is that's pushing you to the point of no return, you're you're kind of like, how do I say this? You're kind of detaching yourself like like nothing. That's why I kind of feel like you could look at this person and and see their suffering and oh my God, poor them, right? But you don't care. You don't really care because you're the moment that. You know, this person pushes you to that point of no return. It's like you you're, you just stop caring in that instant. Someone else had a similar message. I believe it was Libra. Was it Libra? But this happened like two weeks ago, I believe, for Libra. Which, Queen of Swords is Libra energy. It's also Virgo in, in Mercury. But don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on that one, okay? Don't quote me on that one. This is bad. This is bad, Virgo. This is so fucking bad. I mean... This person has, this person has a devil attached to them two times. Like, I gotta take a picture of this shit. This person has a devil attached to them two fucking times. And then they have the five of cups to them attached in it again. It's attached to them. It's not attached to you. It's attached to them. So they got the five of cups two times, which speaks of regret. It also speaks of depression. Uh, this person can obviously get extremely emotional because of everything that's going on. And the motherfucking tower two times. And then the devil two times. And the ten of swords two times. This is, I've never seen anybody get some shit like this. This is like beyond me. I gotta take a picture of this shit and send it to my sister. She's not even gonna believe this. But that's crazy. No one's ever gotten, nobody's ever gotten that before. Ever. Ever. Like, even before I did YouTube and I only did personal readings, nobody has ever gotten some shit like this. Like, and, and that's how you know that this person is fucking going through it. They're going through it. Oh, man, are they fucking going through it. It's not even funny. Like, how do you survive this? Like, I'm like over here thinking, like, I'm trying not to laugh because that's kind of fucked up considering the circumstances. But how the fuck do you survive something like this? That's like, I mean, we got the Ten of Swords, which speaks of pain, but that's a fucking blow to the chest in itself. And then this is just outright depression. And the fact that this person, I'm just still shocked that this person has a devil attached to them two times, the Tower twice, and the Five of Cups twice. Let me move past this, okay? Because I, I just can't stop looking at this. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. We have codependency. And guess what? Codependency represents the devil. So let's just say the person has this fucking devil attached to them three fucking times. But we have new love and then we also have trust with codependency. Codependency, it represents um, the devil in tarot, but it also represents the four of pentacles in tarot, which is more of that Capricorn energy, more of that Saturn energy, right? That's really coming in here for this person. Um, so just imagine the four of pentacles to the ace of cups. You know, this is them basically gripping onto this connection for dear life. I feel like, I feel like, it feels like, how do I say this? Uh, how can I say this? How can I explain it? It's like their everything is being ripped away from them. Like literally being ripped away from this person. You being their, their everything. You know what I mean? Holy shit. I've never fucking seen this. I've never seen this shit for anybody. I'm going to take a picture of this. This is wild. This is wild. Like... This decision that you're choosing to make as far as like, you know, ending things with this person is concerned, 
Oh boy, is it gonna fucking hurt like hell. Like this, I don't even know how the fuck you can survive some shit like this. I apologize for the amount of cussing that I'm doing right now, but like, and I don't mean to laugh, I swear, I don't mean to laugh, but it's like, I've never seen this. Like, I'm kind of like fascinated right now. Um, it sucks because I feel like this person's gonna suffer a great deal. Um, also, too, with the Seven of Swords to the Eight of Swords to the Nine of Swords to the Ten of Swords, that's not a good sign either because. This is kind of like, and I'm going to be honest, and I hope, God willing, that I am freaking wrong, right? This is that type of individual that's going to suffer so fucking much because you're, you're, you're just like, nope, I'm done. Sorry, done. Absolutely done, right? And I hope that I'm wrong. I really hope that I'm fucking wrong. But the amount of swords that this person has, and then the fact that they have the Five of Cups, then the Devil in the Tower out here two times for them. Like, this is that type of individual that will, like, go as far as to, like, as far as, like, numbing the pain is concerned. Like, they might consume a lot of alcohol. They might even, you know, resort to drugs, you know. And, like, I'm talking about, like, hardcore shit. You know what I mean? Not fucking marijuana. But, you know what I mean? Like, shit like that. You know, this is very, this is, this is, this is scary right here. This is, this is fucking scary, Virgo. This is scary. This is very scary. And I, I'm really hoping that I'm wrong. Like, I hope that obviously they don't resort to that. Um, I just, I feel like this person's going to fucking spiral out of control. Scorpio had that same fucking message. I said that. I feel like this person's going to really spiral out of fucking control. This is wild. Look at this shit. I've never seen this in my life. Not doing, not doing this stuff. Never in my life. But yeah. Let's just, let's just call it a wrap then, I guess, because you are Virgo. You're just like, you're very like, sorry, but no, leave me alone. Go away, you know, very matter of fact, you know, and that's going to fucking hurt. That's going to fucking hurt. Wow. Anyways, let me stop staring at this. This is just, this is just ridiculous. All right, Virgo, hopefully this reading don't want to say it resonates because I'm, I'm really hoping nobody experiences this but yeah Virgo that's what I have for you for those of you who want to follow me on Instagram my Instagram username is Milagros Tarot um, no numbers no underscores just Milagros Tarot it's also linked in the description box down below for those of you who do want to follow me on there but yeah Virgo that's what I have for you and I will see you guys in your next reading bye